Hello, I'm Andrew Hyatt. I work, I've been working on Emacs, uh, with Emacs, and to some extent on Emacs uh, for, for a while. I've written the WebSockets library and Emacs calc tutorials. Um, and I've enjoyed use of like many of everyone's incredible packages. Uh, so my, my thesis for this talk, why I'm giving this talk is that I'm interested in SQLite. I think we should be exploring SQLite for applications in ways we, I think the community has shied away from. And I'd like to introduce the triples package as a, as a way, um, both easy and uh, with interesting functionality that will allow us to build extensible databases uh, and in a way that is, I think, a little bit unusual and perhaps compelling, I hope. So first of all, like why SQLite? Why is this good? Well, Emacs has had Emacs uh, SQLite is now built in to Emacs. So you get a few things out of this um, when you use it for data. First of all, it's a database. It's extremely good for data, of course. There's a simplicity to data manipulation using a database compared to data manipulation that is manipulating a data in a text file. Text files are really not built for data. Um, you know, so when typically when you need to do this, like I know or org mode is, which I'm a huge, huge org mode fan, it's all about sort of data in text. And it, it does work, but you certainly would be hard pressed to make sweeping changes to your database um, that is represented in text. It's just not well suited for this sort of thing, and it would take a long time. Where this speed, uh, the speed of SQL is incredibly impressive. And I, I think in this, certainly Emacs is not known for being extremely speedy. And I think the, ex, the over, overuse of text is part of this. Of course, text and using text, using files has awesome advantages as well. I, I'm, I'm really here to talk about the other side of the coin, right? Everyone can, can judge those advantages and disadvantages and make their own trade-offs. But I want to kind of make the pitch for SQLite. So, Let's talk about the triples package. The triples package is a package that is designed to give you a very generic schema. Uh, you don't have to do, for, for most of the common operations, you don't have to write SQL yourself. A lot of stuff is built in and is based on a very generic schema. That is, it's a single table. That table has, of course, fixed schema. And it basically has three columns. It actually has four columns. I, I'm not in this talk. I'm not going to get into the fourth column and why, but it's useful. So the three columns are subject, predicate, and object. And these, this is what um, it's related to what we call an RDF format. And the uh, these things basically describe a link. The link is from the subject to the object, and the link type is a predicate. That sounds overly theoretical, but uh, the point is that you can describe a lot of things with this format. Um, you probably describe everything with it. It's very simple. Um, and because there's the schema's like fixed, right? It's it's only this kind of data. That means for your application, you define a schema in subject predicate object format. And, and this uh, uh, and that kind of defines how you can use what data you can use, what types there are, what properties they have how you can use the system and what is what is legal to do. And this is stored as data. I think as, you know, as Lisp people, I think we're all very um, on board with the fact that data, um, that you have a simple way to express everything uh, and you don't have these two systems. And this, this way you don't have to have like code as a system, like you have to load code to use the triples package to make sure your schema is obeyed. No, it's all just built in to this database. So I'll describe this. It's a little, as I said, it's a little bit abstract right now, but I, it will be bec uh, become a lot clearer when we, um, when we go through an example, which we're going to do now. So let's, as an exercise, let's create, um, Bookmarks, Emacs bookmarks, which basically are two things, are three things: a name, a, a file, and an annotation. 
I may be missing out on functionality. Of course, everything in Emacs, everything has lots and lots of functionality. But let's just start with this simple thing. So first of all, we're going to open up a database. Pretty simple. I think I, there's no, nothing to explain there. But here on this line that I'm, I'm, I'm on right now, we are saying, okay, there's going to be a type called bookmark. It's going to have the following properties. First, a file, which is unique, and a string. And the second is an annotation, which is, again, unique and a string. And then we're going to have another type called named. Okay, first of all, why is it named as part of bookmark? Uh, you know, well, uh, as, as I'll get into, I, it's kind of interesting when you start sharing this database with other things, not just bookmarks, but other types. And bookmarks are very similar to many other things that you might want to expand into. And those other things have names, but they're not bookmarks. So it's kind of nice in sort of a, um, uh, to separate these concerns out and just have another type called named, and which just basically has a name. So we can execute this. Uh, it's not interesting to look at these. Um, yeah, it, it outputs something that is not all that useful for anything, but like that's okay. But what it, what's done is actually, actually it's created a database and it's populated it with a schema. We can look at this. We won't go through all this because it's a little bit too much for a short presentation like this. But you could see that there's something here that's like, oh, uh, we have a subject, bookmark. We have a property, base slash type. That just means that there's a property that's defined by the base. Just means like this is from the triples package itself. It's not someone, so some other package. And third is, is um, well, what is the type of this object? It's a schema. Now, this thing is, there's, could be many types. As I said, like if you have a, we haven't seen an example yet, but if you have a bookmark, it's going to be, have a name type and a bookmark type, right? So everything is multi-typed and that's kind of a, a feature of this kind of storage system. But uh, I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see it's all there in triples, the whole schema, everything we just did. So let's create a bookmark. So again, we're going to connect to our database and we're going to basically set an entire subject. And the subject is, you know, it's basically like an entity. We're going to define an, a whole entity or you may, you could refer to it as an object and that's a perfectly fine way to look at it, I think. It's that It's going to have some identifier. That identifier could be anything. Um, doesn't have to be a string, it could really be anything, but we're gonna give it a string called Emacs init. It does not matter what this identifier is, at least for our purposes. For, you know, it does matter when you're linking to it, but I think nothing that I'm about to show you, this could, this could truly be anything because it has a separate name, okay? This, and it, I'm giving it a name here, which is init. And I'm, I'm just specifying the named type here and I'm specifying the bookmark type here, okay, and, and, and its values. So we're gonna do that. And now if we look, we see everything we saw before, but now we have like, okay, we have subject emacs init, uh, it has a typed and it's named. And we also see the same thing two lines down, this type is also bookmark, but the name okay, is init in the named slash name, which is like the, you know, the type is name, named, and the property is name, so it's in it. So as you can see, like, this is just how everything looks. So it's pretty straightforward and you can retrieve it. Now we're looking at the database, but you don't really have to look at the database for, in fact, I think we're done looking at the triples format because I think it's, it's very simple. You can, you've already got the hang of it, I think. So let's retrieve that just to make sure, like, yes, we can retrieve it. So um, we're going to retrieve it and say, okay, what, what do we get when we load the Emacs init subject? Well, we get a P list of all of its properties and which then you can use in your application. Now, th this is 
there's many more ways to retrieve and there's many more ways to save. In fact, I think the way I did it here with such subject is probably not the right way to do it most of the time. It's usually because it'll erase everything. It's only really to be used when, uh, when you're sure you control all the data. But you're never sure because uh, there could be other packages that are also using this database. They could have their own data. So you don't want to erase all the other Emacs init date subject data, right? In this case, we did because we were confident it was a new entity. But in most cases, the right thing to do is just, just set it by type. Just say like, oh, the, we're just going to set the bookmark type, which is the properties are this, uh, and then the name type and the properties are that. And that's kind of a way that we could you could do things. And there's also many, re, uh, there's also many retrieval types. The retrieval types will, um, you could retrieve by a, a number of different ways, which I'm not going to get into, but you could read about um, in either the source or the uh, readme in the um, package. So we have backlinks as well. So let me explain what backlinks are. This is another feature of the triples. So as I, as I mentioned, these things can be thought about as links, right? But what, what could be a link in one direction could also be a link in the, the other direction. And we, we basically get this for free. So here's an example where we are, con, uh, again, connecting toward bookmark. And here we're going to add a new type called tagged. So we're going to give everything in tags. So here we're saying, OK, we, there's a type called tagged. And it has a property called tags. And this is not unique, so it's a list, basically. It's a list of string. And there is a uh, there also is a type called tag. This is for things that are our tags themselves. OK, and then it has a um, type called members. Sorry, uh, uh, yeah, type called members. And it has one what we call a virtual reversed um, uh, virtual reserve, reverse property which it's virtual because it doesn't, it's not actually stored. We just compute it by reversing the subject and the object basically. So, and this is on tagged tags. So we're, you know, when we query this, we get to say like, okay, you know, um, what are all the subjects that have tag tags of me, the, the tag? And in fact, let me demonstrate that for you because we're going to set the type on Emacs init. We're gonna add the tag, tagged type this is the alternate way of, of setting data that I mentioned. So this won't erase anything else. We're just adding something here. We're adding this type tagged to our previous bookmark, Emacs init. And we're going to add Emacs in config as the tags. We're going to then use uh, set Emacs as a tag and config as a tag. That just lets us. Um, have this virtual property. You kind of have to do something. You can't get it out of thin air. It, it kind of the design decision we've we've made is like we're going to. Uh, you at least need to tag it before you get the kind of the free property. And um, what what you should see. Let's try it out. Ah, we get the subject config which we've set no data on. You can tell we've you know we're not sending any data. But if I if I get that subject, the result is that it says its members are Emacs init. That's what a virtual reverse property. And as, as we tag more things, that just, you know, this just continues to work because it's just doing a SQL query here. And besides showing off the backlinks function, this also shows off the general um, way you can have extensible entities. That is, it's possible that someone writes a bookmarks package that stores everything in a database and in a, in the triples database but then another someone else can come and say like okay I'm, I'm going to define my own types that's meant to work with this database just like someone could add uh you know do what i did here just to add simple tagging right it's very easy to do this stuff is not that easy to do otherwise right it's you know to do this in lisp is a, I, I would say it's a little awkward but with databases again it's it's not only possible, it's relatively trivial, right? Especially with this kind of database. Um, you, you know, it's, the benefit is it's super easy to work with, um, you know, with 
this kind of generic database, the drawback is, okay, it's, it's not all that efficient uh, as a specially per, a special purpose table that is really built for efficiencies. Like a lot of times you have to do multiple lookups and things like that. Um, so it, again, it's a, it's a trade-off that we, um, it's a trade-off for various things. And so as you can see, this is like one database for everything. And that means that it's, it don't, we don't have to sort of all contribute to one giant database, all the packages that use triples. It doesn't have to be one database, but it's kind of cool if it does. I don't know what I want to happen or what I expect to happen, but I think an interesting property is that this is a way for lots of data to live together and build off each other in ways that I think are hard to do with other forms of um, table layouts and, and things like that. So let's talk about a use of it. This is which is um, the EKG package. So the EKG package is something I've written to demonstrate the triples library and use it for something I think is interesting, which is um, you know personal knowledge management systems of the same type of the same genre that org Rome is, but with different design decisions. So let me, I'll just show it in action just for a little bit. Um, let's just look at, um, it's all tag based, same kind of tags we saw before when we were playing around with the bookmarks example application. But everything here is what I wanna show is like, I can look at a tag, I could see notes with that tag. Um, everything you see here is in the database, no files involved. This, all of this is just uh, thing that's like an, an entire object, the entire string, it it works, and you know it has it has tags. You can you can see you know oh not only that but not only this tag but like all the other tags associated with it and their notes. It's kind of an interesting way to do things. Um, the and when you capture it, I, I think it's interesting. There's a lot of interesting design elements here. There is a um, this this tags things is not part of the buffer, so it's not like org mode. You see here, you, you see here in this other tags, like these are things I've imported from org Rome. This is why they look like they do. They have their own titles because I just wrote them all in org Rome. But you know what it looks like really for these notes is that it's just text. You really don't have to bother with this metadata. If I want another tag like pancakes, I can just add it here. And again, in this, it, these tags will turn into data, triple data, and the text is just uh, triple data as well, but different to triple data. Okay, so <clears throat> so the, you know this is, and you can all these things are, are, are like that. You can open up any of these things, uh, etc. So. But let's, I think the interesting thing here is to see the code. Um, uh, you know, it's not super interesting to look at code for too long, but uh, we don't have that long. So um, let's, whenever we connect, I just want to point out a few things. Whenever we connect, we add the schema. We just do this. We just like, you know, every time we connect, we just make sure it has the right schema. This way, you know, the user is up to date. And this schema just looks exactly like the stuff I showed you in, in the triples uh, when we were looking at bookmarks. It's just, it's not complicated. And I even have stuff here with like people um, to store, you know, to use this as a person database. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna use this yet, but you can see it's like, just to do this, it's just, it's really trivial and uh, it's, it's pretty easy. So let's show a few other things like getting all the tags. Here we could just say, uh, let's get the subjects of type tag. So we have all the triples, all the ones that are uh, of type tag, all the sub things that have a subject, um, no, sorry. Yeah, all the subjects that have, a, that have links that have this, this type, this, this tag in it, um, they, we can return them all. So basically it just gives you a list of all these objects. So again, you can think of these things as objects, all the objects of type tag, we'll just get them all. Super, super simple. Triples gives you this functionality out of the box. I mean, it's not that complicated. Um, and what I would like to kind of ex show and kind of that, I think that kind of shows my thesis for this whole talk is this rename tag. Now think about how you would rename a tag in org Rome. 
um, you know, or, or anything that's sort of like where the tag is part of the files. Um, you know, it's kind of like, or how you would re-tag everything in org mode. It's complicated and error prone and slow. This is anything, this is instantaneous and super easy. Look, that's it, this is it. There's not that many places for an error to live here. Like, and one thing I would like to point out is that we are doing direct, not everything has to go through the triples package. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it should, but like the triples package is a fixed format, which is why it's okay, whether it's a good idea, I'm not sure, but it's okay for uh, client packages to just directly, directly manipulate the ta tables. And here we're just doing it just to update all the tags and then you know remove and set type so that the, the correct thing happens. But as you can see, super, super simple. And this I think this proves my thesis um, about the advantages of applications with SQLite. So uh, thank you for listening. I hope this puts ideas in your minds about taking advantage of this functionality. And I, I hope to see more things using the triples library or otherwise that take advantage of this. Thank you for your time.